friends welcome to the channel i hope you all having an awesome day if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and hit the thumbs up if you like what you see now i'm here at one of my clients that i need to do the batch conversion i was talking about before and uh, this is the rig that is gonna get the conversion but before we get to that i need to do the alternators on this bad boy right here so today it's an alternator job right and boy look at that this is a dual alternator one it's packed right in there and the other one it's right down there probably you can see it right deep down there down there so i have to do a little bit undressing here take out the intake pipes for the turbo and maybe just move the coolant hose away from there try to take out the shroud so it gives me a little bit of room so i can bring the shroud backwards close to the radiator and uh, start uh, unboarding and see how long it takes to take it out and i'll keep you guys with me oh yeah so just uh, you guys know this is a 2006 ford econoline X ambulance that uh, the client got back a few months he got a really super good deal it wasn't running uh, I made it run it was actually very simple these are the original compartments it's just sunny and glary out here so not much I can do about this, right? I'm just giving you guys a little bit of tour. See how this looks before it's even gonna get stripped out, right? All the ammo stuff is still here. All those lights. All the cabinets. So basically, this one, it's exactly the same year like mine. Same style, the same everything. You guys seen it that i stripped everything out like pretty much all these cabinets all the way all this down and i put some more insulation on it and that's the plan with this guy you know and this one also gets a 4x4 conversion that i will do but today let's get started with the alternator so first order of business let's just disconnect the batteries oh here is a good prime example so now you guys see so this is the step that mine has and if you guys can see underneath there i chopped all this from here all the way into the back there right and then you see that here has a little tank underneath where the ba batteries are sliding in and out right and then this is where my floor is and this is where, where what holds the water uh, this is a good example so i just cut mine all the way in here right like there there and that's my shower pan because right now it's very narrow you know that's why i relocate my batteries so do you guys see what i see let me know basically this is what i see it's a problem right here somebody's been in here right because this is a ground and it's supposed to well it's not a big deal but it's supposed to be underneath coming out and coming right up here not crisscrossing all the way here right so that's one sign that somebody was in and didn't do the right thing so here we go, oh, the dismantling already start and begin. So we had to move all the harness up here on the top. 
so we have access underneath now i'm just removing this discharge tube and then i have access to the bolts and just to take out the connectors in the back and then once i took that one out i'm gonna take the bottom one out with the full bracket because it's easier you don't have access to the side bolts that bolts down the alternator i'll show you guys when i get there so the bolts are out and i disconnected the wires and now i'm just pulling the upper alternator out okay here we go this is all done there and now i need to remove this but as you guys can see let's see if i can go in there deeper so there is two bolts down by the firewall down here that they are not really accessible so the easy way just remove the tensioner and then i remove the bracket that holds the alternator that's the way it's gonna come out and i'll show you in a couple of minutes so here we go guys the lower tensioner i'm just pulling it out slowly but surely and it has to go in a certain way to get it out right and then when this guy is out now look at that look at where is that bad boy is hiding then we can just take the bracket and pull this guy out and we have access to unplug the harness and the power to it but yeah that's what we are working with tight spots and here we go this is how we're gonna pull this guy out complete with the bracket but before we do that let me just pull that plug out and then it's free to come out with the whole bracket because these two bolts was sitting right by the firewall and it's hard to get it out it's easy but that one is not so that's why I removed the bracket it's easier like that you assemble put it back so you're not fighting with it just make your life much nicer comfortable instead of working hard gotta work smart so that's the big hole down there where the other alternator so yeah this is a six liter power stroke diesel with the dual alternators because it's an example as they all have two alternators right and double belts and all that good stuff but in the same time now that i got here I was talking to my client and he said, oh yeah, I want to do the oil cooler and the EGR delete. So all this nice fun stuff has to come out. So that's going to be in the next video. Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and friends all over the world. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.